Hi, I'm Connie Schmidt, the Manager of Infection Prevention and Control at Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital here in Plymouth. I'm here today with the PCN doctor's orders to talk to you about the flu. We've had Halloween, Thanksgiving, and now we're heading into Christmas, so this would be flu season here in the Northeast. Now the flu circulates throughout the world at various times, but here in New England it usually gets really going the latter part of the year into the first of the next year. So this is when we really want people to be aware that the flu is going to be circulating and we need to start preventive measures right now. Influenza is a viral disease. It's not bacterial, so it's not treated with antibiotics. The most important part of controlling influenza is prevention. How do we prevent it? First and foremost is influenza vaccine. We have some years that we have better matches and some years not so good. Last year wasn't great. However, influenza vaccines, even when they're not a great match, is better than nothing because it will help prevent the severity of the illness if you get it. Now, along those lines, there's a lot of vaccines that are available now. It used to be that if you had allergies, you couldn't get it. We have preservative-free vaccines now. We have egg-free vaccines now. We have the thimerosal-free vaccines. We have lots of vaccines that people can get to help prevent. We also have nasal sprays rather than shots for people who don't like to get needles. The other things that we like to do is highlight to people methods that they can um, protect themselves every day. And that is, of course, hand hygiene. It is taking care of yourself and getting enough rest, staying hydrated, staying away from sick people, and asking them to, of course, cough or sneeze into their elbow rather than their hand. When we get the flu in the community, we usually will put up a sign here at the hospital and we, put, we always have our hand sanitizers with our tissues and our face masks available and we ask that everybody use them. And please don't come to visit if you are ill, but if you do need to come in, please get your hands sanitized and use the face masks and the tissues.